Hello YouTube, um, I've put together a small John Eck commando knife grouping and um, let's take a look. For starters we have an original early 1940s model number one. This one is serial numbered 1M66. Uh, model number one has the full edge on one side and the half edge on the other and no guard. It has the um, rock maple grips with the poured lead rivets. There's the lanyard hole and full tank construction. And with all X it sticks out of the top for a skull crusher. Now if you look at the front of the knife you'll notice that there is no Hamden Connecticut marking. That's where the letter above ties in. Now this letter is not about my exact knife but it's about another model number one with a very similar serial number. Uh, it's a letter from December of 1971 and it's written in uh, John X uh, on hand. And the letter states, your knife, serial number 1K183, is a John X commando knife. Without my name, it is an early one, 1942. The sheath is most likely an original, as that's how we made them. Knife number one was worn under the shirt and had no guard to be withdrawn fast. The blades we advertised were a bargain at $25. The price of a World War II is $100. Yours, John Eck. And it says up top, um, written in haste, and signed at the bottom. And it's on a John Eck Commando Knife invoice um, from, from the 70s. So again, um, this knife does not have the Hamden marking, but um, some of the earlier ones did not. Uh, this is the scabbard that was originally um, paired with the knife. Um, and I guess it's the same type of one that was being discussed in the letter. Now, we go over here, we have the Your Silent Partner pamphlet. Uh, this is a first edition. I believe these are from 1944. And these were sent out with all the um, John Eck knives. Now, if you take a look at the back, there is the certificate of registry. Um, during the 40s, um, they would only sell these directly to servicemen or um, civilians for servicemen and uh, he kept great records but unfortunately all of those were destroyed in a flood from what I understand. Now moving along we have the current model number three. Now model number three is the same as a model number one. It has the full edge on one side, half edge on the other, but uh, model number three has the guard. One and two are guardless. Um, model number two has a full edge on both sides, as does the four. Um, number four also has the guard like three. This is the checkered walnut grips, and all of the new knives have these um, brass X head fasteners instead of the poured lead rivets. They still make them with the uh, full tang construction and the skull crusher on the end where the tang extends past the grips. Now the new scabbards, these are excellent. Um, if you take a look from the side you'll notice that everything is um, done double. These are quite sturdy, um, screwed in rivets. They give you a bunch of extra paracord, a D-ring on the bottom, more paracord. There is a plastic strip here so that when you um, 
draw the knife, it's pretty quiet. A snap with Velcro and a large loop for web belt or wherever you want to uh, hook it up to. Now over here we have the new version of the um, original leather scabbards that they would put out. Um, they have these currently on their website. I forgot what I paid for it, but well worth every penny. Very nice uh, scabbard. Very well constructed. And um, definitely take a look at the website and uh, see if they still have them. Now what's left, we have uh, this small dog tag and the Commando Knife uh, Act 1941 patch. These, they include, at least I think they still do, in with the box when you purchase a uh, new knife. So uh, um, this is it. It's a small grouping. Hopefully it'll be enlarged pretty soon. When it does, I'm sure to come back with a new video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care.